Well, North Carolina known as the first in flights because the Wright brothers made their manned, manned air, airplane fly here. That's right. <laughs> and now the state's trying to become first in a new kind of flight. Yeah. We're talking about drone flight for commercial use. As CBS North Carolina Steve Sprasia shows us, the, instant, the infant industry is really about to take off. I can definitely see the point, or see that we're heading towards them being used in way more uh, applications of what they're being used now. Travis Jack began as a hobbyist, but soon saw the potential of using drones for commercial purposes and created Flyboy Aerial Photography. We do commercial real estate. We do pro promotional video. We can work alongside a licensed surveyor to do aerial surveying both regular ground-based and air-based video. And companies like Amazon would like to deliver packages within 30 minutes using drones. And some say there's a great public safety benefit using drone technology. An ambulance racing to the scene of a medical emergency, like maybe a heart attack. Perhaps traffic is slowing its response. Perhaps it's miles away in a rural area. The probability of survival, if you go past 11 minutes, um, reduces to practically zero. Researchers say we ought to be using drones to send medical equipment like automated defibrillators to a scene. That way, an EMS dispatcher can help guide a person at the scene on how to use it while the ambulances are on the way. You can very easily imagine if it can carry a defibrillator, it could carry glucose for someone having an insulin, or a diabetic episode or an asthma inhaler for someone with asthma. Undergrad Ben Rashnock is researching how that would be done while his professor works on the bigger picture. There's a lot of debate about whether the drone should actually carry any medical equipment. Ava lets the ground personnel see what's happening while they're on the way. Ava, the aerial electric visual assistant, was developed by Olaris, a Raleigh-based company, and it can aid first responders. But the Federal Aviation Administration says not so fast. The FAA won't allow autonomous drone flights. Right now, a drone has to be within sight of its operator. And that's part of what's holding up the widespread use of drones. As the drone industry takes off, it's estimated it could be an $8 billion industry in the next three years as everyday uses soar. And we're talking about more than just the manufacturers of drones themselves. The industry will need all sorts of support companies and they'll want to locate near the drone makers. It could potentially mean tens of thousands of new jobs and new uh, additional employment for the state of North Carolina because when you look outside of the drone or the UAV industry, there's a bunch of auxiliary companies that would need to come along as well. Fears of overcrowded skies and drones crashing into commercial aircraft also have to be addressed. And it's not just the, uh, the unmanned aircraft we're worried about, it's the manned aircraft and maintaining that separation so that everybody's connected, everybody's sharing what they need to. While drone developers and the FAA work on collision avoidance systems, this state is working on trying to become the center of the drone industry in a niche between toys and military drones. Where the industry is headed is more of a working drone, right? That is going to provide public safety resources, pipeline detection and analysis, uh, swimmer safety along the coast to you know prevent shark attacks, things of that nature. So there is definitely a big disparity between what's currently available and what's coming to the market very soon. And Lucas predicts we'll start to see some of those practical applications coming into our lives in about six months. In Raleigh, I'm Steve Sprasia, CBS North Carolina. Fascinating what drones are capable of doing, huh? It'll be nice for those packages to get there in Absolutely. 30 minutes. Absolutely. Hey, it's, you know, drones are really popular. Let's bring them here in North Carolina and create more jobs. Yeah. All right. Well,